It was a long time ago. <clears throat> I was born in St. Paul, and uh, my mother was born in St. Paul. Uh, my father was not. He was from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. My mother's mother <clears throat> came to St. Paul in 1872, before St. Paul was a railroad center. She came here by steamboat, and my other grandmother, came here from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. St. Paul, I grew up in St. Paul and went to uh, grade school, a shepherd school. School has been torn down for many years now. It's out of the north end of St. Paul. Mm -hmm. When I was a child, St. Paul was um, a place where there was not a so-called black community as we speak of now. Mm -hmm. uh, People, black people lived all over St. Paul. I lived out Rice Street, which is the north end of town, and there were a, a cluster of black people lived out there. There were some that lived on the west side. There were some lived out Como. There were some lived, they lived all over town, so there was not a nucleus of black people that lived any place that would constitute what we consider a black community. Mm -hmm. I went um, to Central High School, and when I finished high school, I wanted to go away to school to take nursing, and Daddy had heard all these horrors about girls going away to school, and he said, absolutely not. So I didn't go for that reason, about 15 others, so I went to business school. And after I finished business school, I decided I, won't, uh, I wanted to go to go to uh, out the university and I did go for a while. Went to school and worked. And Mama said, you can always use a business education no matter what else you do. She was very right. Well, I worked for the state of Minnesota on a part-time basis. They had a lot of seasonal work at that time. And in the midst of all this working and going to school and everything, <coughs> I met a woman who uh, also worked for the state, and she went down to Hampton uh, Institute, it was called at that time, now Hampton University. And uh, after she got there, she wrote back and said, how would you like to come to Hampton Institute? I said, yeah. So I, uh, Daddy finally thought, thought that was all right. So I went down there, and I, uh, Hampton had a lot of what they call work your students. You could work and go to school. Well, I did more work than going to school for a while because I was secretary to the director of public relations for a while, secretary to the dean of students for another time. That was a great experience in my life. I stayed down there four years, and Mama said the only reason she let me go because she knew if I was down there for a week, I'd be right back home because I'd never been away from home. But I stayed four years. Great experience. And I came home, and the next place I went was Greensboro, North Carolina, which is where uh, A&T College was at that time, also a university now. And I became secretary to the president of A&T, which was um, Mr. Dr. Bluford at that time. 
That was a very interesting experience as well. I stayed there about four years. Then I came back home. Like I've had a lot of interesting jobs that had different kinds of things that all together uh, helped me gain a lot of di different skills that have helped me through life and through in positions I've had. Mm -hmm. So at any rate, I ended up as um, uh, first as the uh, executive secretary of the Department of Human Rights, which at that time was the Fair Employment Practices Commission, which became the State Commission Against Discrimination, which finally ended up what it is now, the Department of Human Rights. You worked with uh, Richard Fox? That, yes, I did. Uh, mm -hmm. Paul referred to, okay. Right. Uh, I have had a great deal of experience in the business world, which I am very proud of, and I think almost anywhere I work, I've had more experience than most people have had in a lifetime. Uh, I've had good training, I've worked with wonderful people, and every anything you do in life adds to who and what you are, and you can't take that away from anybody. Right. And I think when people, when you ask somebody something and they say, I'm just a housewife, I'm just a secretary, I'm just a that, nobody should ever say that. Right. You are who you are and you just say, I am whatever. If you don't want to say that, just tell them what your name is. Hmm. Because whoever you are, you are a wonderful person because you are the sum total of all your experience, all the things you've ever done, seen, and, and it's, it's just wonderful to be whoever you are. Okay. And uh, don't ever be ashamed of saying it. Don't ever be ashamed of saying I am who I am and I'm very proud of it. Okay, good. Thank you very much.